Tony over here about to get himself in trouble. And then you got Agent John desperate tell. He had like he hard of hearing or something. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester for General Hospital, July 26, 2024. Okay, so if you thought that we saw the last of Agent John, that Jason, well, Carly turning herself in was enough that Jason was going to be free, you thought wrong because this man hasn't given up yet. He hasn't given up yet. He told Jason, he came there, he was like, you still my witness. And when, uh, basically, when Carly's trial starts, Jason going to have to testify and basically confirm that Carly was running things, which is crazy because then he says that um, the way out of this, Carly's way out of this is if Jason gives him what he wants. Sunny, Sunny. So I said, okay, how that work though? You keep saying how Carly's the one responsible, but then you over here still on Sunny. Sunny does this, Sunny this, Sunny that. I said that's enough alone to get him kicked off the case at least. Also, real fast, I got a question. Do y'all think who he's talking about owes him is Anna? I said I wouldn't trust Anna. Maybe she'll help him. Who knows at this point? But yeah, he over here. He hasn't let Jason go yet. He's still talking about he his witness. I said leave this man alone. Oh my goodness. I said they need to get him. Then you got Michael over here. Michael is working on his own little situation to basically prove that Agent John been after his family and basically just show he corrupt. He is, though, because how you tell him that if he gives you Sonny, you're going to let Carly go? I said, how you going to do that, though? She just got arrested. You just arrested her. You got the evidence and everything. How is that going to work? But, okay, so I guess we're going to start with Jason, Diane, Sonny, Carly, Agent John. So... Sonny is talking to Carl. He keeps saying he mad. He's upset. He finally knows the truth. I wanted to see him say or hear him say, oh, that's what Jason been up to. But, you know, he off his men, so we won't get to see. He probably still going to be talking to us. He probably still going to be talking to us. But, yeah, I wanted to see that. But he finally learned the truth. He finally knows that Jason was being, it's not called blackmail, but he was working for Agent John. Agent John had information on Carly. She only knew. She told him she only knew for about a month now. And Sonny says there's no way that he gonna let Donna's mother go to jail, go to prison or whatever. And I said, look, this is crazy. This is crazy, but I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to see them expose him because you got a huge conflict of interest. Not to mention you don't got involved with Ava. I said, he got so many conflicts of interest. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to spend this. I'm ready to see it, though. But yeah, Agent John ain't no telling Jason he's his witness. He has to testify against Carly. Then at the end of the episode, he said, "This your way out of this is if you give me what I want, deliver Sonny. And I said, he hard of hearing and hard of seeing. You don't see the connection these two share? He's not going to do nothing when it comes to Carl. He rather, he was about to turn himself in. That's what I spoke and started with. Jason met up with Diane, or she came there, and they was talking. He wants to replace Carly. I said, Jason, just said, I don't want to say it like this, but excuse my language. He just said, F his kids, huh? <laughs> he just said, F his kids. I ain't saying the word, but yeah. I was like, he trying to go to jail for her. And I said, these two, these two. But yeah, um, Diane was saying, that's Carly's voice on tape, so it wouldn't work. But then Jason said, was there a way to, what did he say, undercut their case? And basically, they're going to try to get information on Agent John to prove he's corrupt. And y'all know sometimes what well, I've seen on a lot of shows where they was able to toss the case simply because of the lawyer or the agent that was on the case. We all know Carla ain't doing no time anyway. And if she does do time, she's going to get out eventually. So we already know the end of that story. But I said, Agent John, like he hard of hearing or something. He's not going to give you Sonny. And he's not going to testify against Carly. Do you not know these folks' history? Now, Sonny, they might, you know, I still don't say, even with how Sonny been acting lately, they definitely not going to do nothing in regards to him. But, yeah, after Sonny finds out the truth, he was upset. He hitting and knocking over stuff, Carly jumping. I said, oh, here you go. Then they show him practicing with his, uh, I can't say the word, I just a weapon. He practicing with his weapon, and he's talking to Brick. And I said, he's going to go do something stupid. So, Carly asked the guard, the police officer, to get Dante. So she ends up telling Dante, and Dante's supposed to be talking to Sonny. You know Sonny. Sonny over here act like he ain't got nothing going on. I don't know what you think you know or whatever. And I say, you better be careful. I want to know if, you know how Ava said she want, well, she said she wanted him to get on the stand and prove basically he's unfit, he's unstable, all this. Do y'all think that the way he's going to prove that he's unfit and that something's going on is if he goes after Agent John and everybody see it? Do y'all think that's what it is? Michael. Michael went to Nina for her help. He wanted to meet up with the congressman. Um, I keep messing up his name, so I'm just say the congressman. That Drew replacing. That Drew is replacing. And she, he wants to meet up with him 
basically to try to prove the same thing that Agent John been going after that family and he won't help with Carly. So he ends up telling her all this and she agrees to help him and she ends up making the call. So I say, I wonder how all this, look, everybody still ain't on the same page. So they got their own little situation going on. I'm guessing Michael going to end up telling Jason and, you know, they're going to tell Carly what's going on. Y'all know what I saw? Y'all know what I saw? Y'all ready for this? People think that Michael and Nina going to end up hooking up. I said, I will hope not. But, you know, it wouldn't be the first time we've seen something like this on either, on this show, on General Hospital or The Bold and Beautiful. So we'll see. Okay, sorry, y'all. Somebody was knocking at the door. Where was we? We was talking about Nina and Michael. I think we finished with that. Oh, Nina said Michael's way of convincing her to fully do it was saying that he'll let Willow know that she was fully responsible for Carly being released or Carly getting out or whatever the case may be. And I said, y'all ain't learn. All y'all playing with this girl at this point. All of y'all playing with this girl at this point. And in Dante. We're going to end with, um, I guess, Christina, Molly, and Natalia. But um, Anna and Dante, they was just talking about Mr. Brendan. She was telling him that he just disappeared. And she ends up saying how she thinks that he's connected to more than just what meets the eye. That there's more going on. That maybe Mr. Brendan knows more. Did she say, like, um, it was a lot of noise again in the background. So that part I didn't hear. Did she say, did she say something about Agent John at that point? That maybe Mr. Brendan knows something about Agent John? I forgot something. I forgot something. Sonny, when he got mad and started throwing stuff and knocking stuff off the doggone uh, cabinets or whatever, he said something. He made a threat about Agent John. I said, really? At the police station? I said, you better be careful in the police station making threats. I said, be careful in the police station making threats. But yeah, he finna get ready to go out to Agent John. He has Brie to find his location. And lastly, we got Christina, Molly, and Natalia. Okay, so that whole little situation like valid points were made because obviously we know christina said that she didn't want them to ask questions about molly because then they're gonna be asking why she didn't have her own child you know about the endometriosis and everything she trying to explain it to molly molly over it so i was like i get both sides because we all know well not all of us but majority of us know that molly not molly christina wants that baby she wants to keep that baby and then she ends up admitting on this episode y'all she ends up admitting that she thought about or think about molly not molly what's the girl name blaze and her basically raising the baby she feels like sometimes they will be better uh parents and everything and i said look <laughs> oh my freaking goodness and on monday's episode she's telling tj molly's telling tj about all that and i said i knew this was gonna be a mess i knew this was gonna be a mess but y'all know what i thought at first i thought they was gonna go with the storyline where christina and tj end up spending a lot of time together and bonding over the baby and then they end up being a couple or being having an affair basically that's what i thought like that was before blaze came into the picture i think but molly kept trying to get her to sign the papers and she was like no she was like basically you got to think about this basically saying if you and tj split up him and her the only ones that have you know actual rights and molly ain't trying to hear none of it she's saying how you know couples go through things and i said the same thing i was like they go through things they have arguments they have disagreements then her and blaze just have a disagreement then i also said even if they did break up they would still be the the baby's parents i mean obviously christina the biological parent but she did agree to this and her mama told both of them she told them not in this mess i think i skipped the part molly wanted christina to sign over her parental rights basically but I think that's it, y'all. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is have a great rest of the day, a great weekend, and be safe. Okay, y'all. So I started my own community center a couple of years ago, and I just really figured out what direction I wanted to go in with it. But the name of the community center is Perkins Unity Center. The mission of Perkins Unity Center is to revive the village, which is the community around the world, through unity. By doing that, I will be hosting different types of events online and in person in order to help give back to those in need whether you need food you need gas you need clothing you need baby necessities anything like that if you need help the link is in the description as well it's under the link tree i think i got a label my community center and you click on that and it's going to take you to the link that shows the fundraiser the cash app and the form where if you need help you can put in your information and here are the shirts, y'all. They deleted my audio, but here are the shirts. It comes in pink, purple, blue, orange, green, and yellow. On the fundraiser site, they also allow you to donate. So if you don't want to purchase a shirt, you can click the link and donate.
If he wants to purchase a shirt, the fundraiser link is live now. If you want to donate through Cash App, you can as well. If you need help and want to sign up, the form is in the description as well. Thank y'all and stay tuned for the content, the behind the scenes, y'all.